Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and you are watching DMG Chemistry Classes and myself Dr. Mahindra Guleria, Associate Professor in Chemistry and in this video I am going to discuss some commonly used spectrophotometric terms okay and the first term is transmittance so transmittance is defined as the ratio of intensity of transmitted light to the intensity of incident light okay so the transmittance t is equal to i upon i naught where i is the intensity of transmitted light and i naught is the intensity of incident light okay and we can clearly see from this equation that the transmittance it varies directly with the intensity of transmitted light and inversely with the uh, intensity of incident light okay so if the intensity of uh, transmitted light is more then the transmittance is going to have more value okay and when the intensity of transmitted light is more this means that absorption is less or the light is absorbed to a lesser extent this means that when the transmittance uh, will have high value uh, it will mean that absorption is less and when transmittance is going to uh, is having less value absorption will be more okay and we can also explain it with the help of uh, uh, this intensity of incident light because the transmittance is varying inversely with the intensity of incident incident light this means that if the intensity of incident light is more the transmittance is going to be uh, going to have less value and when the intensity of incident light is more this means more absorption because according to uh, beer lambert law the in, uh, intensity of absorption or the sorry rate of absorption is directly proportional to the intensity of incident light so in this case also higher is the value of transmittance lesser is the absorption and lesser is the value of transmittance more is the absorption okay and this term is going to be very useful uh, in the spectrophotometry sorry uv and visible spectroscopy and what about the units of transmittance so the transmittance will be a unitless or dimensionless quantity because it is the ratio of two same quantities intensity in the numerator and intensity in the denominator so the units will cancel each other so it is dimensionless quantity okay now let's discuss absorbance which is also called as optical density and extinction Absor uh, absorbance is denoted by the capital letter a uh, optical density by d and extinction by e and it is it is the logarithm of reciprocal of transmittance so the reciprocal of transmittance that is 1 upon t it will be equal to i naught upon i and the absorbance or the optical density or the extinction it will be equal to log of i naught upon i so as we see here that this absorbance is the log of reciprocal of 1 upon uh, sorry reciprocal of the transmittance so in this case every in this case everything will be reversed if the absorbance is having more value this means more absorption that is radiations are absorbed to a greater extent if the value of absorbance is less then the absorption is less that is the light is absorbed to a lesser extent okay and both these terms transmittance as well as absorbance are going to be very helpful because these terms are used in the spectrum of ultraviolet and visible ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy okay so now we are going to discuss another very important term molar extinction coefficient or the molar absorptivity molar extinction coefficient or molar absorptivity absorptivity and it is epsilon prime okay and we know that this negative log of i upon i naught it is equal to epsilon prime cl and i have derived this expression for the beer's law and in this case i have denoted the length of the solution or the thickness of the solution by small l 
and in those derivations i have denoted it with the uh, with the symbol x okay so this is the difference and this equation i am writing it in a way that is minus 1 into log of i upon i naught it is equal to epsilon prime cl where epsilon prime is the molar extinction coefficient or the molar absorptivity and i have also given you an idea about this uh, epsilon prime during the derivation of uh, beer's law and it will be equal to log of i upon i naught raised to power minus 1 okay because uh, because n log m is equal to log of m raised to power n and it is equal to epsilon prime cl okay and this will be equal to log of i naught upon i it is equal to epsilon prime c into l because anything raised to power minus 1 it results in its reciprocal okay so this quantity will be inverted reciprocated and what is this log of i naught upon i this is absorbance as i explained earlier so now this equation will be written like this that is absorbance is equal to epsilon prime cl and from that this is equation number one and from this equation that is epsilon prime it is equal to a upon cl and this is equation number two and from this equation molar absorptivity or the molar extinction coefficient it is equal to absorbance divided by concentration into length of the solution okay now let us uh, understand units of uh, molar absorptivity so units of molar absorptivity will be equal to this absorbance is a unitless quantity because it is log of i naught upon i and again here we have the ratio of same quantities intensity here and intensity here so this is unitless quantity so its unit will depend upon the concentration yeah, that is units of concentration and the units of length so unit 1 upon and concentration is expressed in terms of moles per liter and the length of solution is in centimeters so the, so the units will be liter mole inverse centimeter okay so these are the these are the units of molar absorptivity or molar extinction coefficient understood and if we see equation number one if we see this equation then this equation is an equation of a straight line passing through the origin okay so i am writing this equation again here a is equal to epsilon prime into cl and let us uh, compare this equation with the equation of straight line y is equal to mx plus c okay and uh, let us write this equation in a way that is a a is equal to epsilon prime into l into c okay now let us compare this equation with this equation of straight line then what we have then we have uh, we will have along y axis absorbance along x axis we will have concentration okay and c is the intercept and here c will be equal to 0 and m is the slope of the line and it will be equal to epsilon prime into l okay because uh, in this case intercept is 0 let us understand what is intercept if i plot the graph of this line it will be like this that is y axis this is x axis and the plot of line will be like this and this distance along y axis this distance is called as intercept okay and if the intercept is equal to 0 then 
the line will pass through the origin because when the line passes through the origin intercept is equal to zero okay so that uh, uh, this means that when i will plot absorbance with the concentration i will obtain a straight line having slope epsilon prime l and that line will pass through the origin and how this graph will be plotted i will have absorbance a along the y axis concentration c along the x axis okay and what we will do we will measure the absorbance of the solution at different concentrations different concentrations suppose if the concentration is this then the absor absorption is this then we will have a point somewhere here okay as the concentration increases absorbance will also increase so suppose this is the value of concentration concentration is increasing and the absorbance is also increasing so we will have a point somewhere here likewise we will measure the absorbance at different concentrations and we will have the points like this okay and when we will connect these point points we will have a straight line passing through the origin okay and the slope of this line slope of this line will be equal to epsilon prime into l okay because m is the slope of the line so here m is, will be compared with what epsilon prime into l so slope of the line is equal to epsilon prime into l and from this we can calculate the molar absorptivity or molar extinction coefficient very easily how so as i said here that slope is equal to epsilon prime into l and if i know the thickness or the length of the solution then epsilon prime will be equal to slope divided by length of the solution okay so in this way i can easily calculate the molar absorptivity from this graph understood and this molar absorptivity or the molar extinction coefficient is the characteristic property of the substance or the chemical substance which is absorbing light okay and it tells us about the intensity of absorption what do we mean by intensity of absorption intensity of absorption means that how strongly the radiations or the light has been absorbed by the chemical substance okay if the light is absorbed strongly by the chemical substance then we will say then this uh, absorptivity will have more value and we will say that the absorption is our absorptions are high intensity absorptions okay and if the value of uh, absorptivity is less then the absorptions will be less intensity absorptions okay and the value of uh, this molar absorptivity it varies from 0 to 10 raised to power 6 okay and uh, if the epsilon prime that is molar absorptivity is greater than 10 raised to power 4 then the absorptions absorptions are called as high intensity absorptions okay and if epsilon prime is less than 10 to the power 4 then the absorptions are called as less intensity absorptions less intensity absorptions understood further if the value of that is if if the value of molar absorptivity 
is between 0 to 10 raised to power 3 then the transitions are then the transitions are called as forbidden transitions are called as forbidden transitions what does it mean it means that when light radiations are absorbed by a substance or the solution of a substance then the electrons in the molecules of that substance are excited from the ground state to the excited states as I have explained earlier so I can say that when light is absorbed by the substance its electrons are excited from the uh, ground state to the excited states okay and if for this excitation or for this absorption the value of molar extinction coefficient is between 0 to 10 raised power 3 then this transition will be forbidden transition understood so we can say that the value of this molar absorptivity also depends upon the transition probability that whether that transition is allowed or the forbidden and I will explain it in detail when I will uh, discuss uh, transition probability in my coming videos okay so keep watching my videos so this is all all about these uh, commonly used spectrophotometric terms okay and in my next video I am going to discuss the instrumentation of ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy and I will also discuss that how do we record ultraviolet or visible spectrum so keep watching my videos, like and share my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.